Good morning. How's everybody? I guess you're ready for post and there I am. <laughs> so it's a really rainy day here. So the internet's being very flaky. So if I lose you, just hang on. I'll jump back in. Sometimes we just can't, you know, figure out what's going on. Anyway, so what I uh, want to do today is I want to show you. Um, now, y'all know, good morning. Good morning, Pat. How are you? Thank you all for watching. Thank you for joining us for Hey Robin, it's someone down at the post. Good morning, Joyce. How are you? I'm so glad you guys could join me today. All right, I got a thumbs up. I like that. Um, so, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, I'm sorry that I'm blurry. Um, I don't know. I don't have my cannon hooked up. We're, I'm, we, we're, we're in the process of making our studio. We're going to get wired up. We're going to be going full HDMI. Uh, we're HDMI now off my, uh, my, uh, my little studio I've got going here. So it's just me today. <laughs> so I thought I'd interview somebody today who's kind of special. I think I'm going to bring them up. <laughs> Looky there. Say hello, everybody, to the Magnolia. I'm going to see if I can pull this out. The Magnolia um, with the Internet. There we go. This won't happen anymore when we get through. We're going to get. There we go. This is the Magnolia 7360. <laughs> and I'm going to be uh, showing some things today on the Magnolia. So one of the things I kind of want to show is I'm going to hold this up to the camera. And we'll hold it the right direction. One of the things I want to hold is this little 63 stitch card. Now it's kind of cool. This comes with the deal, and what it shows, if you look right here, it the little F's and the different the different um, the R and the A. Well, what that is is it tells you which foot to put on when you're using the machine. Pretty cool, huh? So. A lot of people get into quilting, and we've been kind of, since we're doing the Janome Virtual Spring Quilt Show this month, um, you can go watch that uh, actually on live on our YouTube channel, um, and Alba does a great job. Now, we have moved the Try Before You Buy class um, to January 28th, so you got time to sign up for that and get your kit. Um and if you want to, and you're interested in maybe getting into a machine, this is, and I can even tell you the price, this machine lists for $800. Robin, that's $800. Oh, wow. But this is one of our lovely map machines. So that you can hear, um, we can sell it to you for $499. How great is that? Well, Robin, I'm, uh, you got my attention now, right? <laughs> So I'm going to try by myself to answer your questions. Yes, Pat. Oh, I got a comment here. I got to post this one up. Yep. Probably the crazy internet. Yes, it is. Now, actually, this building I'm in is the old TGNY. <laughs> I used to shop in here when it was TGNY when I was a kid. Um, and then it was a dance studio. And now it's, so this building has been around a while and we've went in, we have spent, uh, Cox Cable has been fantastic. They've come in, they've totally rewired our system. Um, we're fixing to come in and hardwire the, so when we run the broadcast studio, voila. And I've got some really cool things, special cameras. So we're really excited to um, bring you um, and I would probably film some of the demonstration today, but unfortunately the batteries were all dead on all my cams. <laughs> Who figured? We we so busy playing and experimenting with a perfect camera to work with this. <laughs> well, enough, we ran the batteries down and forgot to check them uh, yesterday. So, but I'm going to show you, this is cool. So you can pick any stitch and I'm going to show, I'm going to go here in this shot and I'm going to show you where it snaps in right there, right in front of you. So, What's so special about this series of machines? I love the Magnolia series for the very reason they're uh, made. They're made with specially developed aluminum to be 
be light, but strong. And that gives them that metal that you're looking for. Everybody likes that all metal. So it doesn't break your back to carry it to class, but then it's strong enough to take the kind of rigorous sewing that quilting entails. Because if you never really thought about this before, quilting is an industrial type of sewing. <laughs> but you're like, no, Robin, I don't make a living or I'm not running a sweatshop in my home, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding about the sweatshop in your home. Um, but what it does is it allows you to do something multiple over times, over and over again and stay clean and steady. And it's great for class and it's got some key features. So this machine, I'm going to kind of come in here and zoom in here. If you come and see, you can hit this bad boy and you're in straight stitch mode. Now, if you're looking for quarter inch, so Janome makes a great collection of feet. They're very affordable, but you would just move the, position look at that if you're i'm gonna zoom in here so you can literally see where i'm hitting every position so if i want a quarter inch i can put it so i'm all the way over at 7.0 i'm all the way to the right and i also can go left if you can see the needle moving that's pretty good. If I want to do an automatic buttonhole, I just simply hit this button. Or if I want to zigzag, I hit this button. And of course, I can control my width and my needle position from here and my stitch length. But what my favorite button is, is 46. So how do I get from stitch one to stitch 16? So there's all the difference on that top row. So I'm going to show you how easy this is, is you just come here, stitch two, three, four, five, and it's just that simple. Same thing with the buttonhole. If you want to hit any of these buttonholes with the automatic darning or the hemming, you just hit your button and it goes through those. That's how easy this machine is to use. And then it tells you which foot to put on there. And it's so fabulous. But I'm going to show off stitch 46, which is my favorite stitch. So I'm going to try to bring the machine over here. <laughs> there we go. So can you kind of see? Yeah, I want you to see what I'm doing. We're going to roll that down and get it right over the foot so you can really, we've got dark colored thread, light fabric. And hopefully I've got my little piece of, wouldn't I know I'd lose my little piece. So I pretend we're going to do some applique. And I'm going to start on this corner here. And we're going to flip this off and we're going to bring in our F foot. If we can't, well, it'll be okay. And I'll have some button help. Anyway, but you would use the F foot. And what's so cool about the F foot is it's clear and see through. So we're going to, we're going to cheat and applique with our, um, and these have these use the snap-on seven millimeter feet. If you watch the spring quilt show, she talked about seven millimeter wide. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to show, and this has a needle threader. There we go. Look how easy that was to thread. And all this for $4.99. This is awesome. So I'm going to come in here. Now, this is our demonstrator stitch that is starch, but you would want to use some lightweight fabric. Yeah. And of course, some of you would probably want to, you know, use some iron on interfacing. So this does not move. <laughs> I'm going to use this side because it's straight. I'm going to start, I'm going to, well, 
I'm going to start here and go down. I guess we'll be wonky on one side. Because I'm going to show some cool tricks on how to do applique to do the corners. And I'm going to put my needle down so I know where that. And I'm on 46. And I can, now this comes with a foot control. This comes with a foot control. I forgot. You don't look at the side of me. This comes with a foot control, but it also comes with a speed control. I'm going to move this up. That is so great. So this is also, not only is it a great quilting machine and applique, but it's also great for teaching the next generation to sew. It's so user-friendly. You can slow that down, and the little kid's not going to sew with their finger. So no matter how much they gun that pedal down there, or if you're like me, <laughs> and you gun it, <laughs> and you need somebody to kind of hold the brakes, that's great for um, the, the little your lovely speed control. So very important. So I'm going to put this in here so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully, hopefully I'm as slick as the guy that I was watching yesterday. I got a little inspired by a video that I watched and I thought, well, I'm going to show this little machine off. So here we go. We're going to um, hit the start button and it's going to go out to the deal. So I'm going to kind of be a little ornery here and I'm going to stop it. Now, I've got this on 3.5, but if I'm doing some really large applique pieces, I can really make it go wide. So I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to decrease that down to 3.5 again. And I'm going to sew a couple of stitches. And I'm going to stop because I'm coming up on the corner. I'm going to put, this also has automatic needle down. Let me show you that right there. See, automatic needle up, up and down and auto stop. That sews in one stitch. So I'm going to go in here. And now that I've stopped it, I'm going to put my needle down. And I'm going to decrease that to 1.5 while I go around. This is how you do a corner manually. So I'm going to go around there. I'm going to lift see how i leave that needle down i'm going to flip that around now y'all don't hold me to miss perfection because we're not using that clear view foot which comes with this machine all those cool things that i showed you here up here all those feet come with the machine for 4.95 4.99 excuse me you can go directly at our site at sewbargain.com at s-e-w-b-a-r-g-a-i-n.com and order this guy and we can ship it right to you. So if you're watching, so if you're watching this from out of state, be sure to pop in in the comments. I'd love to know how far and wide we're broadcasting. So we're going to sew a little bit out of the corner and where you're going to learn to run your, you're going to learn to look ahead and I can come over here and increase myself to 3.5 and sew a little out at 3.5. But what you want to do is you have to train your eye to watch, to run that right along the edge of that fabric. And with practice, that happens. And your applique, whether you're doing it with embroidery unit or you're doing it by, um, and I'm off here, so. And we're going to lift that needle up, pull it out. And my favorite thing in the world, this side cutter. So let's take a look and see. But look at that corner. If I was, I had clear view or my open toe foot, that would not happen. But see, and that was taught to me by one of the most coolest applique ladies that, that ever bought a machine from my dad. But see how you can get the different sizes. So you can do this for any size applique. And I just love applique. It's so much fun. It's, it's not something that you do in a hurry. <laughs> now. Now, well, Robin, that's real pretty. It can do applique, but is it tough? What if I got to hem my grandson's jeans, or better yet, my granddaughter's jeans? I hear that more often than the other. So, of course, we have some denim. So, there we go. Technically, I think we're at eight layers. Okay, and then. Alrighty, so how do you handle denim? Well, first of all, you gotta have the right needle size. That's really important. And that's super important. But one thing you're gonna do is you're gonna definitely come in here and increase your 
length. And we're going to come over here and hit straight stitch. <laughs> and we're going to hit the straight stitch. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to take that to about 3.0 or 3.5. We'll go 3.5 because I really piled it up there. There we go. I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to show you, we're, you know, we, we didn't tell the machine, hey, you're going to sew something heavy today. <laughs> we got some great layers. We're going to come in here and I'm going to do just like Alba did. And here we go. Now, you're not going to want to sew fast. You're going to want to slow down because your needle heats up and you're going to want to use a 16 or a 14 needle. Put that needle down. We're going to go off this length. Which is what I like to show even more. And we're going to kind of go real fast. But do you see those? Do you see this right here, ladies? This is awesome. Because it helps you climb over those big seams. I'm going to slow this down because we're going through the thicker stuff. But look at this machine. It's not fighting me. It's not balking. It's not doing anything. It's just sweet. This is a tough machine. So look at that. Here, let me show it up here. You can really see the, be able to see, I went through that. Pretty stitches on the back and on the front. Didn't skip them. Didn't do anything. It was quiet. It was tough. It was awesome. So let me go up here. <laughs> so if you're interested, in stepping up to, because not everybody wants, now the big machines that are the MBPs, they are the, I won't lie, they're a little higher price range. But if you're, a lot of people get into quilting and they start with an entry level machine. And by the end of a year or two, you're going and it's getting a little sluggish. It's, it, you're having to bring it into the shop. I mean, you're getting your money's worth out of your warranty. <laughs> you kind of need to move up. And this is a great mid-range machine. You can buy the Westerly ruler kit with a low shank foot. You can free motion ruler on this because those ladies tend to work in smaller areas. Um, oh, well, I don't know why the camera on me is blurry. <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to put up with me. Um, it, it's probably the internet, like Pat was saying. It's probably the internet, like Pat What's really bad is I can hear me talk to the mic, so I just have to go, okay, and ignore that. But what's really fun is this is a great lightweight machine. You can take it to class with you. If you're into clothing, if you're wanting to make purses and little bags, it's strong enough, tough enough. It can do that. It's an all-around great entry-level sewing machine. So Mother's Day's coming up. Um You've got, you know, if you're if you're looking for a new hobby to do out in that 110 degree weather this summer, sewing is your friend. And a lot of ladies have started sewing again because of COVID-19. And so we think that's wonderful. So starting if you started out on an old sewing machine that somebody gave you or, you know, you've you're just using an older machine and you're looking for a new one. It's the echoes driving me crazy as well. <laughs> I love my ladies. They keep me in line. But this is a great little machine to start with. And that's the Magnolia 7360. And not to mention, yeah, it is so cute. <laughs> I love it. But it has a start and stop sewing. There's your reverse. You have auto stop, which is really great. And you have width and length control. That's really important to me on a sewing machine. And then you have your easy to use buttons, to access all your stitches. You have a wonderful guide. Now I gotta be honest, I gotta show off some of these. I got a favorite one, which is stitch number 39. So we're gonna show you stitch number 39. So how do I get to stitch 39? So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to, we're going to hit the little zigzag stitch on the deal here, and we're going to pump it till it says 39 on our video screen. 
screen and I'll show you that. So what I do is I here here's a shot. And we got some fresh fresh fabric here. So I'm gonna hit this. And we're gonna speed it up because we don't want to be on here forever. But I gotta show you. But this is where I'm really gonna show off the auto stop button. This is so important. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit this button right here. You will never make an ugly decorative stitch again. Side cutter. Notice I don't have a little pair of scissors and I don't have to get it and run all over the. I just cut it right there. <gasps> Aren't those cute? How cute are those? Can you see that on the baby blanket or little kid's summer outfit? You know, you can tell them it was made with love in the hearts on this pieces in Anna's heart. They send it to that grandbaby across the country. That is so cute. I absolutely, probably one of my favorite stitches ever. <laughs> favorite. That's, oh, I got to show this one. Elizabeth, you're right. Those stitches are darling. If you're not, if you have a big high end machine with all these gorgeous decorative stitches, you got to play with them. They're so wonderful. So one of the things that we'd like to um, see is I'm going to, I've introduced the Magnolia 7360, which is our junior MVP for the Genomies virtual quilt show. <laughs> so if you'd like to just go ahead and sign up for the class and you can call down here at the store, that's 405-794-0026 and let them know that you would like to take the class with the junior MVP because I ran this machine by Alba and she said, it's no problem. We're even sending Alba her own kit <laughs> so she can actually have a bag made with you all. Um, if you're interested in the Sky 7, which the Sky 7 had that 8.3 neck and it's got the built in nine millimeter foot. It's got the um, AccuFeed system. Some of the high end features that she was demonstrating um, you're welcome to do that. Um, if you want to, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is a uh, stitching post or what's sewing down at the post. Um, that video that our, it's about an hour long video and it's really worth watching. Um, I've had ladies coming through and looking at sewing machines and there's a lot of people really interested in quilting. There's almost been a resurgence of quilters out there and we want you to make the right decision because it's not about my price point, it's about yours. It's about what you want in a sewing machine. Some women start with a machine like I'm showing here. Some people start with this type of machine um, to show, to, to know if they're interested in this because it's always a great backup sewing machine for tailoring or making projects. But it's a great starter machine for quilting. Um, if you've been quilting for a while, and you want to start free motion your own things, or you really like that gorgeous nine millimeter binder attachment. That's really cool. Um, so what's going on between now and the end of April on our spring, a Genome spring virtual quilt is we're giving the quilters priority package with the machine. So we have some sky, we have one sky six, we have some sky nines. And what the sky nine is, is the embroidery version of that so that you can come in if you want to do embroidery, but you want those great features of the Sky 7. So we have several different models as we're really talking about our awareness about, I just spoke to a lady yesterday at the doctor's office who is a quilter and she's going to come by and visit our store and check out our fabrics. But, you know, whether you're a seasoned quilter or you're a new quilter, what we've been focusing on all month long in the month of April is what is important to you and what do you want in, in a machine? You want to spend your money wisely because, you know, we're living in, <laughs> we're coming out of COVID. Some of us are going back to work. Some of us are thinking about maybe starting this as a home-based business, you know, no matter where you're at in your sewing 
story, you want to make sure. Oh, hang on. Does that use the same machine as 6,000? That is a great question. Um, probably if you have a Janome 6,000, I don't know. You'd have to make sure that you have at least a five millimeter machine. If it's a, a, I mean, excuse me, a seven millimeter. If it's just a five millimeter, it would have to use a different foot. But um, there's, but you can always test them out. But this is a low shank machine, um, and you have snap on feet. And Janome's feet are so affordable. Um, you know, a lot of these places I've, I've seen, I've been, you know, a lot of times we like to sneak and look at other stores when we're visiting out of state. And some of these other brands can be pretty pricey. But, you know, that's the cool thing about Janome. They are the world's largest manufacturer of sewing machines. And they bring affordability and reliability to sewing. And so, but what I want you to think about is, are you going, um, are you going to put the whole quilt together? <laughs> As Mary says, the whole enchilada, you make it the fabric sandwich and you're going to quilt it. You're going to piece it. You're going to decide what pattern you're going to put on it. The, you know, every all those different stages and even binding is a third stage of quilting. Some people just like putting the tops together. They don't want to. <laughs> binding is not their favorite, as Mary was telling. It's it's not my favorite either. Um some people don't like free motion. It's just not their thing. Some people really love, enjoy walking feet. There's some incredible things you can do with a, just a simple walking foot if you're putting your own quilts together. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Oh, Elizabeth's got one. She says, how much is this machine? I've been kind of looking for a machine to buy for my eight-year-old. She loves and helps building small projects. This is a great machine for her. Um, we do have some that are probably a little, not less expensive, but if she's that, if you have, whether you have a six year old, an eight year old, a 10 year old, a 12 year old that is serious about quilting, this is the kind of machine that's going to last her up into college. This is a good investment. Um, some people do that for their, when they get somebody who's really into quilting and sewing like they are, they spend the money to get the child a quality machine that's going to last them through the rest of their school and take them through all their creative uh, stages in life. Some girls get into sewing um, clothes and that's what they want to do. That's their focus. But grandma is a quilter. And then later on down the road, well, the next thing you know, she's quilting too. So <laughs> I've seen that all the time. Um, but that's a really good question. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate it. Thank you all for asking such good questions. But we do have other machines. For price points. Um, and I like, I'm going to kind of flip over here to it. You, if you want, if you want maybe something with more features. Um, now this doesn't have any more stitches, but it does come with the automatic scissors, automatic needle up and down. It's going to come with uh, the quilting kit probably. This is a 3160. This is a great machine. It does. It comes with the quilting kit, which means you've got your quarter inch foot, your walking foot, um, your free motion. And so it comes with some more feet and then it comes with a table that slides around the machine. And this is going to be, this is also a machine and I can tell you the price online. This is um, $5.99 every day. So you can always, if you don't, if that's not important to you, you don't need a table, you don't need a walking foot, you don't need all these things. You can come in and get the same amount of stitches, a little, little bit different format of how you select them, but we have a great entry level machine. So, and this one is $4.99 map. And then if you want to spend a little more and what you're doing is you're getting a $200 kit, you're getting a, probably a hundred and something dollar table for about a hundred bucks and it's, it's worth an investment. So either one is a great machine. But if you really want to see this one in action, you can go to our YouTube channel. I've actually done a demonstration in an older version of Facebook on Facebook Live that I loaded to YouTube. And it is on there. And I really go in and show how to run this machine and some of the cool features with it. Hi, I'm back. All fuzzy. <laughs> um, but I kind of wanted to take a minute and um, let everybody know that we've moved the virtual. If you missed the make and take class, you haven't missed it. We just moved it. Hey, um, well, we made a decision because my face is blurry. Um, 
And uh, I'm so excited. I mean, I love this third party we use uh, to bring you where we can see your questions. I love this broadcasting program we use. It really allows us to interact with you. You're welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, so what we wanted to do is we're working to bring this to you and we're, we moved it because we're getting ready. We're going to do an ethernet. So we will not drop <laughs> during the middle of our show. Like some of we've had some fun experiences. This has been a great learning experience. And I want to thank all of my loyal viewers who have hung in there with me. And those of you who watch this after we broadcast it, there's quite a few of you out there. Um, I really appreciate you hanging in there and, and, telling us what we need to do and everything else but we're very excited we're setting up a studio and i'm going to be uh, next week i'm going to have a special guest because we're going to be talking a bit we made a big announcement the other day and i'm going to be interviewing somebody specially involved with the rusty barn clothes show i'm getting excited i hope if not we'll have them in the near future if i can't get him next week but i'm going to try to bring in some sewing stars to our little old Oklahoma City area, and uh, some of the people have told me they'd be happy to do an interview with me, and I'm really excited. So that's that's fun. We want to bring some fun to show. Now I'm going to grab my other camera, and we're going to go over to the table, and I'm going to. Hey. Can you all hear? If Can you hear me, Trina? Okay, hopefully they can hear us now, Trina. Try it again. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, we've got a lovely floral, kind of a pioneer woman type uh, apron <laughs> with the romantic floral, floral pattern. Ooh, romantic. Romantic we all, floral. So, then, uh, hold on, Trina. Let me oh, get this straight. If okay. you show up wearing nothing but this, <laughs> romance is on the fabric. Okay, I'm Absolutely. bad. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, it does have a, re a reversible back with the yellow, so it is a completely lined pattern uh, for fabrics. We have two kits of it. Oh, cool. So if you want to call down here today, give us credit card over the phone, we'll be happy to ship it to you if you're watching from a faraway area. It was real easy to make, and it, it just turned out beautiful. So it's... Uh, it's going to be a great for a Mother's Day gift. <gasps> Ooh, that's a great idea. Sew it up for mom or let mom sew it for herself. <laughs> Ooh, you could even come in. You know what you could do? You could even, if you want to come in, Trina's here. What days are you here, Trina? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, because we've got to, because Mother's Day is May 9th. Right. So you can come down here, match your mom's favorite colors. We've got all those inspirational quotes, fabric that we were looking at. Wouldn't that be so pretty? right here was something really inspirational and beautiful that you could I put in. I actually had several different uh, patterns in mind, but I ended up doing this one. Oh, it's cute. Uh, but there's some really pretty combinations back here that I, I yeah. would be glad so to help anyone put together. If you're into romantic pioneer woman, <laughs> if your favorite colors are red, black, and gray, or if you love batiks, We've got some gorgeous batiks down here. You can create any kind of look that you want, huh, Trina? Yes, absolutely. Anyway, but this these kits in the project is 15% off. And they're $23.95. Oh, hey, that's so affordable. What a great gift. Yes. So we're going to do this. We're going to extend this one. This has been so popular Some of the with the weather and the crazy. Some of the ladies have asked us to extend it a week. So we've extended a week, have we not? Yes. Oh, you got to show off your apron. That's so oh. cute. <laughs> Yeah, my, my hand at trying to do the free motion thing. So I absolutely love it. I got to show this off. How cute is that? I did that with my uh, my industrial jukey. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, we sell those too down yes. here, don't we? Love it. Love it. Anyway, love thank you for your time, Trina. You bet. So we're going to go back over here. Okay. And um, 
I will go slowly. Say hi. Oops, say hi to everybody, Earl. Give everybody a big virtual hug. Woo! <laughs> All right. So that's fun. Here, I'm going to put our on our featured star right there. And I bet none of you heard me. Hi, I hope you all heard Trina. So those aprons are 15% off all week long. And somebody says, can we see the Trina apron? I did. I shut it off. I didn't even read that. Oh, I like what Elizabeth says. Here we go. And I'm going to... Zoom, Zoom in. in. There I am. Hi. Hi. Yes, yeah, we got so some, we got some pretty, pretty comments. comments. Yeah. And, I think, and I think I thought I brightened, I brightened up the show. show. Trina, Trina always brightens, brightens up her day. day. Anyway, this, this is Rob. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Um, I'm probably going to try to bring you a, a little bit of a machine, a special guest. Um, but I'll probably be doing the Brother 3500 next week. So if you're interested in something that's got all the nine inch throat, does some embroidery, I'm going to show that off. I may even show you the Sky 9 a little bit too. So it's got some real, what's really cool about the Sky 9 and the Janome 550 is the upscale um, embroidery features that you get in its price range. So I might point some of those out. That's pretty cool. Anyway, this is Robin Hill for saying, hey, Robin, what's going down the post? And we'll see you next Friday.